Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Ersna engine, 3D Python game engine, and this is tutorial number 13, Smooth Follow and Flying Dragon. So when we have multiple entities, we usually need to move each of them if we want to animate them all. And in Yersna, there's a way that we can move just one entity and the others will follow along. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, let's import our Yersna module, create a window, and create two entities. Uh, one is a green circle and the other a red circle. So first of all, let's import Yersna. So from Yersna, it's not import star. And now let's set up our basic app. So app is equal to Yersna and app run now in between this I'm going to create two entities so e1 is equal to an entity entity I'm going to set the model equal to a circle um, I'm going to set the scale factor to 1 I'm going to change the color to color.green so color is equal to color.green and I'm going to set the position equal to 0 on the x axis, negative 1 on the y axis, and 0 on the z axis. Now I'm going to create another entity. So e2 is equal to an entity with the model being equal to a circle, setting the scale, scale equal to 1, set the color equal to color.red, and I'm setting the position position equal to 0 on the x-axis, 1 on the y-axis, and 0 on the z-axis. So if I save and run, now I have these two entities on my screen. So the red entity, the red circle, is right above the green circle down here. Now I'm going to add an update function and just move the green circle. So I'm going to create an update function up here define update and then I'm just going to move the green circle so remember that the update function moves or it's called um, once per frame and to move the green circle I'm going to have a variable called dx which is the speed of the green circle I'm going to set it as 0.1 and in this update function I'm going to call global dx and I'm going to increase um, the first entity's x value, x coordinate, by dx. So e1.x plus equal to dx. And if the absolute value of e1.x is greater than or equal to 3, I'm going to set dx equal to the negative dx. And all this does is checks for boundary checking. So if I save and run this, the green ball moves from left to right, and if the green circle's x value is greater than or equal to 3, which is right here on the x-axis, then it will the dx will be negative, and so it will move to the left. And once it hits this negative, um, ne negative 3 on the x-coordinate, it will start moving to the right. So now I'm going to let the red ball follow the green ball wherever it goes. And now this is just adding in... Uh, the smooth follow function. So I could type in e2 dot add script smooth smooth follow. Set the target equal to e1 because it, we want it to follow e1. And set the offset equal to 0 on the x, 2 on the y, and 0 on the z. So here the smooth follow function allows uh, the entity e2 to follow e1 with the offset of 0 to zero and then that is the red ball is always going to be two units above the green ball whenever it moves so i'm going to save and run this and i see that the green ball moves the same way it did before but now the red ball is following the green ball and it's always two units above the green ball because of the offset so now i'm going to so now that we know how smooth follow works let's use it to make a flying dragon animation now to do this, I'm just going to delete all this code and start from scratch. Of course, we still need to import Yersna. So from Yersna import star, app is equal to Yersna, and then app.run. 
I'm going to create a player uh, entity. So player is equal to an entity. Model is equal to a quad. Set the scale equal to one. Set the x equal to negative four point five. Set the texture equal to assets. So my texture is an image in my assets folder, and it's a basically a dragon head PNG. So if I save and run this, this is basically my um, player. So it's going to be the head of the dragon. And now we also want to create a list that holds 50 entities for the body of the dragon. And we're going to have the first one follow the player. So I'm going to create a list. Initially, everything's going to be none. So it's going to be none times 50. And I'm going to set E of index 0 equal to an entity. Uh, the model is equal to a circle. The scale is equal to 0 0.2. Set the color equal to color.green. So I'm sending that entity to green. Now e1.add script. So I want the very first um, value in this list to follow uh, the head of the dragon. So add script, smooth, follow. Set the target equal to so the target equal to the player because we want the very first entity in this list to follow the player. And set the offset equal to 0.3 in the x, 0 in the y, and 0 in the z. So now we're also going to use a for loop to basically let each entity follow the one before it. So now that I have this very first entity, for i in range 1 to 50, because we already did the uh, 0th index, e of i is equal to an entity, uh, so the model equal to a circle, so the scale equal to 0.2, set the color equal to color.green. So set the color equal to green. And e of i is e or bot at script smooth follow. And we're just going to let this um, entity follow the one before it. So the target is going to be e of i minus 1. And we're going to set the offset equal to 0 0.2 in the x, 0 in the y, 0 in the z. So if I save and run this, we have, we can see that uh, a bunch of entities are following the one before it, one after another. And there we have it. So we have uh, basically a dragon head and 50 other entities that represents the body of the dragon. So now let's add in the update function to move the dragon head up and down. And uh, because each entity follows the one before it, we're going to basically be animating a flying dragon. So let me do that right now. Define update. Uh, I'm also going to have a global a change in y value. So the speed of the dragon head um, for the y axis. So global global oops, global dy player dot y plus equal to dy so again that represents the speed and we're going to do some boundary checking so if the absolute value of player dot y is greater than or equal to three dy is equal to negative dy so if I save if I save and run this the dragon head is moving up and down and with this boundary checking, when the dragon's head gets above a certain point, the speed changes the direction. And when it gets below a certain point, the speed changes the direction again. And now we have it. We have a flying dragon. Okay. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.